Hello there, I'm Mr. Vlad, and there are flies plotting to kill me as we speak. They've already sent multiple assassins after me, but I hear them coming every time. Buzzing around my head isn't the stealthiest approach, you winged motherfuckers. <laughs> now that that's settled, I'd like to talk about today's topic, which is gamer stereotypes. And I guess I'll divide that topic into two parts, the first one being stereotypes that non-gamers make about gamers, and the second one being the stereotypes that gamers make about gamers. So I'm sure everyone's been in the situation where they don't want to tell another person they just met that they're a gamer. Why? Because they might react like, oh, so you waste all your time on video games. You're like, such a nerd, OMG. And that's pretty sad to be honest. The people that react that way are probably doing so because of stereotype that they've somehow stumbled onto. Those stereotypes make gamers look like mouth-breathing, Cheeto-devouring slobs that shower or bathe once a month just because the chips are starting to encrust themselves onto their skin. And sure, while there are people who are like that, they're extremely rare. If you think about it, most gamers are perfectly normal people. Just instead of some hobbies like solving puzzle sets, drawing, or curb-stomping homeless people, they choose to play video games, because it's fun. Another stereotype people have about gamers is that they only play games like that's all they do, like they only play games. And that's not true either. While I have days where I don't really do much else, I also have days where I barely spend any time playing games at all. Now this is a bit off topic, but I used to be into photography, and I mean really into photography. I'd spend almost every day walking around looking for something to take a photo of. I also used to play the guitar, draw, all sorts of things, and during those times, I also played games a lot. So there you have it. Gamers can do other things as well. But back onto our topic and straight into the second part of it. Gamer stereotypes from other gamers. Every now and then, I also fall into the dickhead category of judging people by the games they play. But no one should really do that, because that's not the defining feature of a person. And if it is, well, that's sort of sad, but that person is also probably very young and still developing their personality. Anyway, a pretty well-known example of this category of stereotypes is the old, Oh, you play WoW? I bet you have no life, nerd. And sure, a portion of people that play WoW really do go full-on no-life mode with the game. But most of them snap out of it at some point, and again, I'll take myself for an example. I play WoW. I have had a lot of maximum level characters, I've played the game for 7 or 8 years now, and during those years I've always had another interest at the time. Gamers also slump all Call of Duty players into the same group of people. Loud, obnoxious preteens that have apparently had more milf sex than any other human being under the sun, while at the same time talking like a chipmunk on acid, with their microphone making them sound like they're talking with their head in a bucket while underwater. To be fair though, the game does get infuriating, so people tend to be on their worst behavior most of the time when they play Call of Duty. I know I turn into a beast from under the bridge when I totally zone into the game, so it's not surprising that most people do act like a preteen. Now, something that came to my mind while I was thinking about what to say in this commentary was that some people consider themselves a gamer while they're only playing Farmwell and Candy Crush on Facebook, and while I have nothing against those people, as long as they don't send me game invites, I don't really think they understand just how far from gaming, playing Pit Rescue Saga or whatever bullshit game they have on Facebook is. So that taken into account, I guess another stereotype is that people who only play Facebook games aren't actual gamers. But I'm sort of on the fence about this one. As much as I don't think those people are as invested into games, I also realize there's people who genuinely care about their crops and farm will withering. And on top of all that, they're doing it for fun just like anyone else playing games, and I think that of all the criteria of being a gamer, doing it for fun is the most important one. And that's just about everything I wanted to cover in this commentary. I'm sure I missed some of the stereotypes that are out there, but these are the ones I really wanted to cover. Do you think Candy Crush Masters are gamers? What stereotypes have you run across while talking to people who don't play games, or even other gamers? Let me know in a comment, and while you're at it, Another thing you can put in the comments is a topic you'd like me to talk about. Type that shit out and maybe I cover it in another commentary. That's it for me today. Mr. Vlad is taking a hike.